Do you think your baby actually needs a little bit of a faster flow? Are you suspecting that your baby's getting frustrated with bottle feeding and you're maybe suspecting that maybe your baby will need a little bit of a faster flow nipple, but you're really not quite sure? Well, check out this video till the end because I will be talking about this. Hello, beautiful mamas. My name is Adriana. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and I specialize in feeding and overall child development. So today we're actually gonna be talking about when to know when to upgrade your baby when it comes to a faster nipple and what signs to look out for when your baby is ready for the next flow rate. Now, before we start, try not to get tricked in terms of different companies, in terms of, you know, level one is for one month old, level two is for two months old. You have to upgrade the nipple. You have to make sure that you're upgrading the nipple because your baby needs to be up to date at this particular age. Make sure that you're not following through with all of this because brands end up kind of tricking people, making sure that you're totally upgrading every single month. And there's actually some families that think that your their baby can be a little bit delayed because they're not keeping up with the flow rate system. So they think that there's something wrong with their little one. In reality, no, this is totally not true. So this is something that is really important to know about. If your baby's super happy with a level one, if your baby's super happy with this one particular nipple, they're gaining weight, they're eating very nicely, and they're not stressing out over eating, totally stick around with that bottle system. They could stick around until the age of 12 months old, or maybe even up to the age of two. I mean, it's totally up to you guys in terms of when you want to wean the bottle. That's a whole nother subject, which I actually do have a video about. But other than that, Make sure that you're sticking to the same nipple that your baby is comfortable with and not hurrying up and uh, stressing out over why is your baby not, you know, going on or moving on to the next level. One other thing to, to look out for when it comes to this is that they're sucking so hard on the nipple that they end up getting pretty frustrated with it they end up pulling away from the nipple. Sometimes they're actually trying to suck so hard that it looks like it takes them a really, really long time to be able to complete a feeding, or it looks like they're sucking, but they're really not getting much out of the bottle. Um, so maybe your baby is totally ready for the next level, and those are different signs to kind of look out for. One other thing too that's very important is making sure that their feeding time is within 30 minutes, because sometimes babies, after eating 30 minutes, I know for particular full-term babies they can last an extra 10 minutes or so when it comes to a preemie baby it's pretty strict when it comes to timing why because they actually end up losing weight because feeding feeding by mouth with a bottle or even breastfeeding it takes a lot of energy um, so there's some babies that are full-term that can eat a tad bit longer and they're gaining weight and that's totally fine but in general some babies that are preemies they have a really tough time and they feed a tad bit longer because their endurance isn't all there their overall skills is still very difficult for them. So that's definitely something to kind of consider and look out for. So make sure that you're thinking about that as well. So here are a couple tips to kind of look into when it comes to trialing a faster nipple. Now, this is especially for mamas that have babies that have preemies because they had feeding issues at the very beginning. Again, I work in the NICU and I totally understand when it comes to switching to a faster nipple, it's kind of scary. So let's check out these three different tips that I have for you guys to trial from a super slow nipple to the next level. Tip number one is making sure that you're sticking around with the same bottle system. So if you have a preemie baby or even a full-term baby, for example, if you guys are using the Dr. Brown bottle system, if you're doing the preemie nipple and you wanna go on to the transitional nipple, make sure that you're sticking around with the same brand and not moving on from the preemie nipple to the Tommy Tippy nipple. Sometimes babies have have a pretty rough time with that. For babies that are full term, that never had any feeding issues, that are totally fine, you could trial at other brands, that's totally fine. As long as they could handle it, then uh, you know, go for it totally fine with me. But for babies that have had feeding difficulties, make sure that you stick to the same brand, just to make sure. There's other brands though that are a tad bit slower than other ones and that's totally fine as well too. Make sure that you consult with a feeding therapist as well. Or if you don't have one, seek a feeding therapist as well. If uh, you're noticing that your baby is having a really hard time. Tip number two, another thing that you wanna do is make sure that you're filling up the nipple. Maybe try it halfway full, just like 
like this. The wider the nipple, the harder it is to kind of do the halfway of, um, of the nipple. But this is something that you guys could trial. And yes, they will suck in a little bit of air. Make sure that you're giving them enough burp breaks in between. But maybe this is something that your baby needs to kind of get used to for a couple days and nipple halfway full is totally fine. So that's tip number two that you could trial. Tip number three, you could also try different types of positions. Sometimes positions can be um, a huge game changer when it comes to trialing a super slow nipple to onto the next level. So for example, if you have your babe and you're feeding them this way, sometimes they can handle a faster nipple in a cradle position. And you could always try bottle feeding here in this upright position just like this. And you could even trial like the nipple halfway full or completely full and try and do more trial and errors and double check and see what works out best for your baby. And the ultimate way way of potentially doing it and more um, in order to slow it down a tad bit more. You could also try your baby in the sideline position on your lap. And uh, why sideline position? Because it the milk actually trickles down to the cheek and it gives them more time to swallow. So again, you could trial it with the nipple halfway full or even completely full if they could trial it or handle it, totally fine. But their shoulders need to be up to the ceiling and their nose needs to be aligned to the belly button and double check and see that their head isn't off to the side because then that's where they have a little bit of difficulty when it comes to swallowing a little bit more of a faster nipple. So I hope these tips actually help you guys. Check out my channel, subscribe, share this video, especially for mamas that are having a little bit of a rough time when it comes to bottle feeding. Check out my TikTok or even my Instagram account, adriana.patricia.official. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comments below. If you wanna hear more about colic ideas or if you wanna hear more about you know different nipple flow rates or if they still have feeding difficulties and maybe what to look out for uh, when it comes to seeking out uh, therapy in general. So check it out and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.